This may be the last beer determiner that I ever buy, and there are a few reasons why I say that. The first is that you do not need to carry around these guards. So typically when you buy a cheap razor, you're going to get a bunch of guards to get the right settings. One, two, it's going to be based on millimeters. Here, all that you do is you rotate this metal dial, and you're able to get the precise setting that you want, and it shows you the numbers in here. And I absolutely love that feature. I love that I can just take this item alone without uh, the different apparatuses to go along with it. Uh, unfortunately, I had to do that with my cheaper Philips model here. The second thing I love about this product is the battery life is absolutely outstanding. So I've had this now for maybe 6, 12 months. I've only charged it maybe two times, and it's, it's just incredible. It also charges very quickly. Now, if I turn it on, you can see the little lights down here indicating, okay, three bars. So I'm almost completely charged there. The other thing I love about it is the incredible build quality. So we see this nice metal here. The dial itself is metal. The top is metal. The blades are metal. There seems to be some sort of rubber material here. And I believe the, the bottom is some sort of strong uh, ceramic or something similar. Now, it's not a perfect item for everyone. So one of the reasons that you wouldn't want to get it is, A, it's around $100 on Amazon. So for some people, that's, that's a lot of money. Uh, another is that it doesn't come with a nose trimmer. So that's the advantage with some of the cheaper ones. Uh, but overall, it's absolutely incredible. And one of the reasons is because it's completely waterproof. Now, uh, typically, w when you buy these things, you get some oil, you get a brush to clean it. But I just, I, I don't bother with any of that. I really just love putting it under the sink and cleaning it. And you can see that it has no rust on it. Now, occasionally, you do get some watermarks, so I have to rub that off. There is a little bit of um, discoloration. I don't know if I could sand that off or polish it off. It's just kind of a light a whitish color along some of the edges uh, but overall it's in incredible condition very low maintenance now let's compare that to my older model here you can see there's a bunch of rust across the top here you can see that I have to add an adapter uh, I can add this adapter for nose trimming which is nice uh, the you have this rubberized part that's become discolored a bit uh, because of um, you know toothpaste and things like that uh, the other thing I don't like about this model overall you know it's okay as a razor but the bottom you see how it's angled like that you can't rest it flat whereas with the 9000 prestige it's completely flat so it just stands on your counter and you don't need to buy something to hold it the item also comes with a cute little case fairly compact not the highest quality not the lowest quality uh, but for me I don't use it at all and that's why I'm not showing it instead what I use is this uh, luxury leather patina bag that I ordered from uh, it was made in Florence and I think sold by an Australian company this is the charger that comes with it pretty simple pretty flexible pretty much the same that you would get with uh, some of the cheaper uh, electric beard trimmers I've gone through a lot of electric beard trimmers so uh, really, I was just looking for the best, and, and one of the reasons that this is the best is just the incredible battery life, but uh, overall build quality. Now, the other razor that I was considering, seriously considering, was the uh, bevel. Now, uh, the bevel, I, I like their positioning as sort of a luxury product, but I wasn't confident in the product itself. I heard some bad things about durability. I also heard bad things about not hearing back from customer support when you had an issue. And when you're paying $200 for um, a premium product, you expect to get some sort of warranty service or at least a response from the company. Uh, so I had more confidence in the build quality here, even though it is a, a little bit cheaper than the alternative. Now, something you may notice when you get this is uh, that you see the numbers here when you start to adjust the item, and there's blue and there's white. So what I think is that uh, one of the numbers is for when you have the one guard that they give you. So they give you a guard, and I think what it's for is if you want to do something like trimming your hair or going with really long hair. So I never use that, uh, but you need the adjustments, the measurements are going to be altered when you use the guard. So that's what that is for. Now I'm going to demonstrate how it sounds. You can see it's not too loud, it's not too disruptive, but it's not also not super soft. And it's very simple, you just press this single uh, on switch, this metallic button here. 
That is the Philips Norelco Ultimate Beard and Hair Trimmer Series 9000. You can buy it on Amazon. It's cordless. It's just under $100. Overall, I do recommend it. This is a buy-it-for-life type of product with an incredible build quality. I would say on the downside, you're really just looking at a little discoloration along uh, the edges and a little bit of erosion on the numbers, uh, but nothing compared to the kind of on reliability you're going to get from something made out of plastic that's going to crack, that's going to break, something where uh, if you lose the guard for getting the right size on your beard trimming, then, uh, you know, it's pretty much um, gone from there. So check it out.